Here comes Funaki. Now, I'm not really sure why in these first few SmackDown games, the Royal Rumble always started with four wrestlers instead of the normal two. So, I didn't really understand that. It didn't make sense then, it doesn't make sense now. I don't know why they couldn't just start with two people. Oh, you didn't know? You'll be better call somebody. It's the Road Dog, Jesse James. Now in SmackDown 1, you could actually pick which wrestlers you wanted to have in the Rumble. And in SmackDown 2, it's just completely random, including your starting pick. And here is Christian with his Blood Brothers theme. This was on WWF The Music Volume 4. And I know that because I still have that very CD. Do do, do do, do do, do do. One of the most exciting of themes. And Crash Holly, the best hardcore champion of all time, Mr. 24 7, making his way to the ring, weighing in at allegedly well over 400 pounds. Crash! I love his Tron. Going through the kids' jungle gym, fighting the APA in the airport. There's a the Mean Street Posse. I've forgotten about the crippling load times as well that I've cut out for you. Lovely roll through by Crash. And this game surprisingly released only 8 to 10 months after Smackdown 1, depending on where you live as well. So, uh, where I live, Smackdown 1 came out in April of 2000 as Christian's gone, Crash is gone. And then by December, there was already a brand new game out. I remember getting this before Christmas in the year. 2000, which is an awful long time ago. And gee, that is a long load screen. It's Hardcore Holly, Hardcore Holly's in. It's exactly the same character model as the year before. Well, it's not really a whole year. That is a lot of loading. What I'm going to do for you is I'm going to trim the rest of the loading screens out because that is just ridiculous. Here comes Jacqueline, first woman's cruiserweight champion. There's about a five or six second loading screen between each entry, which didn't happen in SmackDown 1, but this game is notorious for its really, really long loading screens. Here comes Bradshaw. I'm not sure if it's longer just because it's a PS2 game being played on the PS3, but maybe. Here comes Ivory. Ivory appeared in last year's Royal Rumble as well. And by last year's, I mean the SmackDown 1 Royal Rumble. Check it out on my Royal Rumble playlist. I think I'm up to about 30 Royal Rumbles from SmackDown 1 all the way through to WWE 2K20 and WWE 2K Battlegrounds all that game, it was horrible. Some Legends of WrestleMania Royal Rumbles in there, an ECW Royal Rumble from one of the ECW games that I've got, I always forget which one I've got, which is... Can I find it on the shelf? It's not there. Oh, Hyper Revolution. Not Anarchy Rules. Yeah, not Anarchy Rules, I don't have that one. It's Lita with her non-Lita theme. Her I Am With S.A. Rios theme. Rachel going for a clothesline from hell. Lita ducks. Lita's out of here. Oh no, she holds on. It is weird you can't select which wrestlers are appearing in this rumble. And I assume it's just a 30 person rumble. Pain's eliminated by Bradshaw. Holding her own from the women's champion and cruiserweight champion. It's Scotty Duhotty, one of my favourites. Scotty Duhotty. He definitely looked fly today, indeed. Retro is about to be eliminated. Retro is eliminated. Lita and Jacqueline have been in for ages. Can we see another huge upset? Winner of this rumble, just like in SmackDown 1. It's Tori. It's all female superstars in the ring. It's Mankind.
It's Prince Albert, it's Matt Bloom, current trainer in NXT. Oh, he's eliminated straight away, that's his work. It's the Tory and Jacqueline show. Tory, a ridiculously underrated wrestler. But from the stories I've heard, came to WWE at the end of her career with a bad shoulder, so didn't really get to show off uh, the wrestling skills she demonstrated in Japan. It's Kurt Angle. Look at old school Kurt Angle. Look at him. At that awesome match with Kurt Angle, uh, Shane McMahon at King of the Ring 2001. Kurt's out straight away. It's Grandmaster Sexy, Brian Lawler Jr. Actually, not Brian Lawler Jr., just Brian Lawler. I don't know why I added the Jr. in there. Oh, Val Venus with this awesome techno theme. Have a listen. It's the cat. Oh no, it is China. I thought it was the cat for some reason. Don't know why I did, but China's in again. Trying to eliminate Grandmaster Sexay, someone she teamed up with at WrestleMania 2000. It was China and Too Cool versus the Radicals. Tori is the MVP of this match. I am person. China is on the cover of this game as well. What? Oh, Undertaker doesn't have his theme, that's right. He just had the SmackDown theme. Or the Raw theme. Because he didn't have the American Badass theme. But China's on the cover along with Triple H and The Rock. Oh, so disappointing. It's Mark Henry. He doesn't have the blue attire from SmackDown 1. But he's still into chocolate. Oh, I was going to say fitting if he got eliminated by Tori, but Tori's finally gone. No way is Undertaker getting eliminated by Val Venus. It's Taka Michinoku. I guess I didn't realise he was in this game, but Panaki was the first entrant, so obviously Taka would be in. No Men's Teo, no Dick Togo, no Yamaguchi-san, but we've got Taka in free market. The remainder of time time. He's eliminated Mark Henry as well. 260 pound weight difference between the two of them. And a spin kick. This is a match we need to see. Taka Michinoku versus The Undertaker. Although we did. We did once see Undertaker and Kane versus Kai and Tai, either on SmackDown or on Heat. And Kai and Tai were obviously treated as a complete joke. It's Triple H. Here he is getting set on. What a triple threat we've got in the ring at the moment. Undertaker, Jericho, Triple H. Here comes Test. We probably won't see some of the unlockable characters in the game for some reason. Which includes Steve Austin, which is very bizarre. And then he was out with his neck injury. Uh, Billy Gunn, he had a shoulder injury, so he's an unlockable character. Cactus Jack's always fun. Debra, Gerald Briscoe, Joey Abs, Michael Cole, Foley, Patterson, Rodney, Pete Gas, Shawn Michaels, and your unlockable characters. Triple H was eliminated while I was reading that off. Here comes Rakishi, so popular at the time. Just Rakishi's dancing at two call was so over, was tag team champion. With Scotty Too Hardy a little bit later on, and he's Continental Champion in 2000, defeating Chris Benoit in the run up to, or in the lead up to, King of the Ring 2000, where he was runner up to Kurt Angle. Test and Undertaker go down at the same time. I think they had a match, SummerSlam 2004, or it could have been 2005. Get those two confused. I think it was 2000, or maybe 2002. Yeah, maybe it was 2002 when the test was a part of the Un-Americans. Rikishi's gone, Undertaker's hanging on. Who's left? Who haven't we seen? It's Jeff Hardy, we haven't seen. Dean Malenko, Eddie Guerrero could be some of the final entrants. 
Perry Sutton, he has him. There is he is, the Iceman himself. Man of a thousand and four holds gets rid of Chris Jericho. Very fittingly indeed. We haven't seen Saturn. We haven't seen Steve Blackman or Stevie Richards. Or it's Al Snow. How many people do we have left in this rumble? Is it just the one or are there a couple more? Is it a 30 person rumble or is it just everyone on the roster rumble? It's Eddie Guerrero. Eddie wins. He comes in and he wins straight away. What a victory. For Eddie Guerrero. Your winner of the Royal Rumble is Eddie Guerrero. And he's going on to WrestleMania to challenge whoever's the champion. Let's say it's Austin.